Hey, what's going on, everybody? Meteorologist Bob Van Dillon, meteorologist Haley Meyer here. Good to see you what's still. What's up? Yeah, yeah, listen, we've got a lot going on right now because uh, we had a lot of coastal erosion over the last couple months. Check this out. Frick. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it, it, it's tough to see. There's been more than a dozen home collapses along the shores of the Outer Banks since mid-September of this year. Those are remain. Obviously, there's still a risk, but some homeowners have decided to do something about it. Instead of letting these buildings wash away into the ocean, they've chosen to move their homes where they'll be a little bit safer from erosion. So joining us now is Barry Crum, the owner of Crum Work Incorporated and a specialist when it comes to home relocation. Barry, thank you, sir. I appreciate you joining us this afternoon. I have so many questions for you. Hey, Bob. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk about the current state of the Outer Banks right now. Uh, what's it like right there? Are you, I'm, I'm assuming we're talking about near the Highway 12 area, right? No, actually, we're, we're off of uh, Old Lighthouse Road. And uh, today, it's, it's a beautiful day. Um, the sun is shining. The wind's not so bad. Um, we're finally getting a, a break in the weather. That's good. So we can try to shore up some of these homes. Oh, that's good. So uh, when you're talking about shoring up these homes right there, is there... Uh, do you have to wait till the time? We've got a, a super moon going on right now that we're remarking at. So the tide's automatically going to be higher. Are there specific times during the month when you're able to move these houses? Well, yeah, and really it, it's it's more, uh, you know, depends on the house. But but a lot of these houses we're having to work during the low tide. Hmm. Um, and that, uh, you know, that's that can be a narrow window depending on uh, what time of the day the... Uh, the low tide falls. So my, my next question, because just the, the thought of being able to pick up a home and literally move it to a completely different destination is really fascinating to me. Uh, what is the process between, let's say, a homeowner reaching out to you saying, I want to move my home, to then finding a spot to, to put it? Because you're purchasing a plot of land where you have your, your home on. Do they have a, another purchased land that's completely vacant? Is that where these homes are going to? Well, it depends on the lot. So. Um, some of these lots uh, were, were kind of, when they were originally set up, I, I think they had the thought of maybe having to retreat their house uh, at some point in the future. And um, so the job that we're working on right now, it's a deep lot, and we're able to move this house in total maybe 150 feet away from the ocean. Now, some of the other homeowners aren't so fortunate, and they are um, purchasing other lots in the vicinity, and uh, we'll be moving those homes um, uh, sometimes down the road uh, to, to, to a new lot. Mm, gotcha. And, and I'm looking at it right now. It looks like a slow process. Can, take me through the steps. I'm always fascinating at this construction. It's, it's, it's a mighty work that you have to do. Do you have to go into the house? Do you have to nail things down so they're not loose? And How, how does it work? No, not generally. The, um, you know, the, the, uh, the moving process is, is gentle enough that you shouldn't really have to um, do too much inside to prep it. Uh, you know, maybe if you have some fine china, you, you might want to <laughs> wrap that up. Yeah, uh, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, but, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know what? It's actually generally it's a pretty quick process, believe it or not. The... Um, you know, once you get your permits and the site prepped and that type of thing, I mean, you know, we can move a house in a couple of days if it's if it's not real big. Um, sometimes even faster if, if we have to. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a couple of days to move a thousand plus square foot home. I mean, yeah. who knows? My my next question is, is this really financially a better solution or is a lot of this and, and the homeowners uh, driving the, the thought of let's move this home out of sentimental value? We were speaking with Katie Byrne, Robert Ray, and they had so many raw emotions of folks who say, I had so many childhood memories. I wanted my grandkids to have these memories. Do you think that that's the big driver as to why they're choosing this solution as opposed to letting it fall in the ocean? Because initially when folks were wondering why are we just letting them fall, it was an insurance thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, some of the homes, uh, people do have sentimental attachment, uh, but a lot of times it, it makes financial sense um, with building materials being high and, and uh, you know, trying to um, get the labor to build the homes. It, it's an expensive, uh, time-consuming process to build a new custom home. 
Um, whereas we can come in and, and move the house relatively quickly. Mm. Um, oh, so you, you're talking two, three or four months, but, uh, um, that's from start to finish. And, and, uh, to build a house that fast, that's, that's pretty difficult in an area like ours. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's a good point. It's probably better to just move it. So what kind of equipment do you guys yeah. have? I'm thinking you've got tons of jacks, but what are you putting yeah. it on and how are you hoisting this thing on there? Tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. So we use structural steel, a lot of, uh, H beams and, um, you know, we have some, uh, special dollies and, um, a lot of shimming and, and, uh, yeah, we use a uh, unified hydraulic uh, jacking system um, that uh, it it picks the house up in a way where um, part of the house could be really heavy, another part of the house could be light, but the jacks all travel at the same rate. Mm. So that's kind of key to um, you know being able to to lift the house and move it uh, without tearing anything up. Yeah, that's fascinating. How fast can you travel once the <laughs> house is on top of the bed? Uh, we generally go pretty pretty slow. I mean, you know, maybe like a couple miles an hour. But um, we have we have uh, gone maybe 25, 35 miles an hour down the road. Nice. So, cool. so, okay, you pick it up. My next question, how do you put it down? Because you mentioned with some of these homes that they're just moving them a bit further away from the shoreline on a property. And a lot of these homes, even if you are a few hundred feet from where the shore is, they're up on stilts. Are you putting these homes back up onto onto these wooden planks or are a lot of these folks, you know, you're just putting it flat right onto the ground? No, no, no. Yeah. So um, most of the time, and it, you know, the process can change depending on situation, but uh, most of the time here, we will move the house to where it's going to be um, for the next part of its life. And then we will jack it up in place um, a lot of times, maybe 12 feet, sometimes higher. We've lifted houses like 21, 22 feet before. Oh, wow. Um, but a lot of times, you know, maybe 12 feet, uh, we'll lift it up. And then um, the foundation guys will come in and, and wash new pilings uh, under the house while it's, it's up in the air. And then we'll set the house down on that new foundation. That is so cool. And then obviously the zoning, have you ever dropped it where it's like six inches to the left? Oh man, it's on somebody <laughs> else's property. I mean, that has to be like, drive you crazy. Yeah. So it, it is, uh, it's, it's, uh, I, uh, I haven't had an issue so far where, um, we, we've put the house, uh, in a, in a place where we couldn't move it over a little bit. Okay, um, good. But, but it does happen. <laughs> I, I figure. I mean, I can figure you move this huge house, and if it's like six inches over the line, is the other neighbor going to come and go, "Hey, uh, great job!" But uh, yeah. can you move it over six <laughs> inches? Yeah. No. You know, we we uh, so there's processes where we we can move the house over a, a few inches here or there, even when it's up in the air. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh Barry, it's fascinating, and uh, I, I would. I, I mean, I, I got so many other questions. Yeah. I mean, did, yeah, obviously, when you, I asked you before if you had the prep work, the houses at all. Uh, you, you, I would figure you have to nail the, the doors closed. You have to make sure everything is out. But you're saying you just pick it up and, and move it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. How many, how many homes have you moved so far? How many do you plan to move? I mean, how many people have reached out to you saying, hey, I like what you're doing here. My property is getting close to being condemned. Can we start this, start this process? Yeah, so um, so far we've only moved one home right now away from the ocean in this uh, storm event. Mm -hmm. But um, we have uh, heard from several other homeowners, and um, there's uh, looks like we're going to be moving uh, more than a few houses in this area uh, relatively soon. Mm. Uh, last question: Are you comfortable with giving us a price on how much it would cost? Um, sure. So now I, I'm just the uh, house mover. Right. I, I'm, I'm a sub, um, but the total price for this can, can be, um, a, a couple of 300,000 and, and even more for, for some of the really big, uh, you know, nice, nice homes. You know, when you move it, you have to get a new septic system, new foundation, uh, new, new steps, a new driveway, 
um, the plumbing rehooked uh, electricity. There's a lot of little things that kind of add up and, 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 and take the price up. Yeah, I could totally see that. Well, Barry, thanks for taking the time out and talking to us. It's fascinating, your, your job. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry that, that people have to do it. I'm glad for you. Business is apparently great. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's an issue down there. Barry Crump, yeah. thank you so much. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, Bob. Of course. That's fascinating. I mean, yeah. I, I just want to see the process done. I know. He said once it's on there, it's a couple of days, bada bing, bada boom, they put it down in another spot. Well, it's like I, I see these double wide homes traveling down the interstate, but I couldn't right. imagine like a four story home because some of these are really tall. Yeah. Just traveling right down the road. You saw how big they are. Amazing stuff. So that's what they're doing out there. So if you can't beat the ocean, you might as well join it. Just push it back a little yeah. bit. Unbelievable. Well, listen, we got more coming up. We've got that coastal storm that thankfully is not battering into North Carolina at this point, smashing into Newfoundland. It's uh, coastal Canada. We'll show you that picture. Wait till you see a satellite imagery. It's insane. So to play us out, got Bombo Genesis music, everybody. Be right back.